Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. Happy second day of Champions League games. Possibly some more Champions League content. We will talk about that today. But the biggest thing I want to talk about is the phenomenon that many people did in FIFA 18. Trading with Thursday, flipping. And I technically think that this should be more called Thursday slash Friday flipping or weekend league flipping. Because we don't always sell on Thursday. But Thursday is the day that starts the market movements with Weekend League and Division Rivals rewards. Obviously this week, we do not have Foot Champions rewards. Those will start with next week's Thursday flipping scenario. People did some Thursday flipping last week, but this week I think it's actually going to be working like the normal trend that we saw in FIFA 19. So if you don't know what Thursday flipping is, basically a lot of cards prices, especially uh, meta cards, usable cards that people are gonna put in their teams, uh, when they buy teams every week to make for weekend league games to, to play on the weekend, a lot of that happens after rewards on Thursday. So Thursday morning, I think it's like I think it's like seven or eight a.m. UK time. For me, it's like three a.m. Uh, overnight. Foot champions and division rivals rewards are released. This allows people to open packs. Some cards come out of the market. But the buying power of the market increases. People get coins from those pack pulls and they go out and buy cards, upgrade their team, or buy players for weekend league and put in their teams, put in their squads, so that they can play for champions uh, with the players that they want to use on the weekend. So we are at that point where it's a day before. So a lot of people for Thursday flipping would buy their cards on Friday nights, or excuse me, Wednesday nights last year. Wednesday nights last year was where a lot of people would buy their cards and then sell them and list them sometime during the day on Thursday or into Friday if we weren't getting a, po a promo with any panic, especially on a day like Friday, the market just continues to rise and continues to go up. So I want to talk about some stuff that's going to happen today that could influence some of that Thursday flipping and talk about how this week could be the first real Thursday flipping period of FIFA 20. So. The first thing that we look at every week when we have Thursday flipping is we look at link investments to the team of the week. I want to pull up a couple predictions for you guys right now on Twitter uh, that of guys that I really trust in their predictions. This is the main man over here on Twitter. His name is Patrick at SimpleBlue88. Um, this is his team of the week prediction. This man's a great team of the week predictor. Um, he, he nails these predictions a lot of the times. This is what he has for a team of the week prediction this week for team of the week number three and you're asking why does this matter well this we can look at we can look at other predictions like on footbin on foothead and kind of realize okay these are probably some players that are going to get in go look at their stats from the weekend game as well a guy like malinkovic savage i like this week um a gomez you know vardy i think is almost a shoe in um Mares possibly, but I think Gomez, Milinkovic, Savage, and Vardy are basically shoe-ins, um, and there's probably a couple other shoe-ins as well. Promes is a very interesting one. There's a lot of people that have invested in that Inform Malin card, um, but that's exactly what we're looking for. With the Thursday flipping, basically we're looking to buy cards on Wednesday night that link to Team of the Week or just popular meta players that people are going to buy for their teams and sell them Thursday night into Friday. That is basically the entire goal of what Thursday flipping is uh, for you guys that may not know what it is. But this week, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to happen. That's why I'm showing you guys this Team of the Week prediction. We will go take a look at Footbin's prediction right now as well. Um, and this is something that we look at these Team of the Week predictions because link investments to these definitely rise up a lot because people get these informs. Obviously, when Foot Champions rewards are out, they will get the red versions of these informs. Red versions are cool. People like to put red versions in teams. But people like informs at this stage of the game as well. So, again, you see Gomez in here. You see Vardy. So we're thinking link investments to Jamie Vardy. Who is going to be somebody that... If they pack Vardy or if they want to buy Jamie Vardy for their squad, who are they going to link him up to? Well, a lot of guys this year are using wingers with the pace down the wings. They like to use those wing players. So if you're looking at right wingers, you'll see somebody on my transfer list that I think, even though it's a soft link investment, I think it is a solid investment, and that is John and Sancho. I don't have a ton of coins right now at the moment, but I did pick up some John and Sancho's at 25,000 coins today. Another reason why I like this card is because Nabry is possibly getting a Team of the Week card. He had a massive game 
today in Champions League against uh, Spurs, but his card price has gone up from like 26k, what it was pre-game, uh, 28k actually, and now he's up at around 40,000 coins. He was a little bit higher. There is some hype that Nabry could get an in for him. If he doesn't get an in for him, you might see this gold card crash. Um, but I like John and Sancho for that reason. John and Sancho is 25,000 coins. I think he's a very comparable card to Nabry. Nabry has better shooting, but Sancho has the five-star skills, uh, which Nabry does not have. So, And he's also English. So there's some extra added hype there. And if we do get this, there's a guy in here. It's like Tavernier. Yeah, Tavernier. It's hard to see him down here. Right here, this guy. Maybe you can see him here better. 91 pace, 84 physical. This could be an English right back that a lot of people try to use. This could also hurt Trent Alexander-Arnold's price possibly a little bit. We'll see if this guy does get an inform, how much it costs, and what it does to Trent Alexander-Arnold's price. It could hurt it just a bit, not a ton. He's not Prem, obviously. He's uh, he's not in the Premier League, but he is English, so that could, ri that could um, arise some hype. But again, you're looking at meta players to flip, and you're looking at... Guys that could link to Team of the Week or Team of the Week players themselves because a lot of people like uh, to, to buy Team of the Week players and to upgrade their squads with Team of the Week players. So Team of the Week 2 cards are going to be out of packs. Some of these cards um, might be still low enough that you think they could be good pickups. This Kolarov card right here, probably the second best left back in the Serie A as an inform. It's not very pacey, but he would get a green link to the new Milinkovic Savage inform if that inform comes out. This James Madison obviously would get a perfect link to Jamie Vardy, both on Lesser, both English. Um, with multiple Syria informs this week's team of the week, Brozovic could be a good investment for pretty cheap. Those guys are all good investments anyway because they are very cheap in price um, as it stands. Thurum could be a good investment because I think it was on the team of the week prediction by um, Footbin. They had Playa getting a team of the week as well. Playa is... Uh, also on Much and Gladbach, he's also French, so that would be a perfect link striker combo that you could have there with those guys. That's just an example of some Team of the Week cards you could look at to invest in. To be honest, ones to watch cards might not be a bad shout to look at either. I mean, some of the some people are going to buy them for their teams. Some of these prices are looking a little bit low, um, and this is probably going to be another chance where they get packed on Thursday with rewards with some supply, where before you will see them rise up into the weekend league. So Lozano is probably somebody I like for that range. Ben Yedder would probably be somebody. Pepe, Joe Felix. A lot of those guys that are hyped, that are playing well, could get some rise into this weekend. But that is the main thing I wanted to talk about today. I want to talk about the buy time for a lot of this stuff. Most of the time, I buy stuff on Wednesday nights, like literally late Wednesday nights, a few hours before rewards. You usually will see some people panic selling off their teams. They will offload their teams. They finish playing rivals for their Wednesday night. They sell their team. They get their coins. They get the rewards on Thursday morning. And basically, they restart every week, depending on what they get in rewards. You might not see a lot of that right away right now. You basically will just see a lot of people trying to get coins from rewards, try to, try to get packs, and try to get those players that they really want for their teams. One guy, for example, that I see a ton of hype around is Usman Dembele. I think this card is its a card that so, so many people want inside of this game, FIFA Ultimate Team. He is risen up in price a lot, but he's 84 rated, so he, t he could take a hit during the Division Rivals rewards, but I think his card price could definitely maintain or go up because it's a high it's a high value in demand card. Somebody else who could go up is somebody like Varan. If you're in a higher budget, I would definitely look at some of these guys that I'm mentioning off right now. Varan is already very, very expensive. But watch his price as we head into uh, Wednesday night and Thursday. Wow, the man is 250. 239 right there. Is that gonna get Instabot? Instabot right away. Varan with a shadow for 239 gets instabot wow this card's price is going crazy but i think it's going to go even crazier this weekend people are using that card a ton um so yeah that's the only thing that i want to talk about with a little bit of supply you know maybe a guy like Furlan mendy uh, a lot of people think that rewards are going to come out of the market and a lot of these cards are going to dip in price because they are getting packed which yes to an extent they will go down a small bit i think mendy's extinct at 40k right yeah he, he definitely is these card prices could take a hit in the first hour or two, just a bit. That could be an opportunity to buy, but you don't want to always take the chance. You usually want to buy before, especially if it's a meta player that's not super low rated, just a guy that a lot of people are going to want on their teams. Um, and for me, 
a guy that fits that value, fits that um, idea of what I'm speaking of, would be Firmino. Right around 100,000 coins. He's a guy that you would probably maybe upgrade your Lucas to. Uh, you would upgrade from Lucas to Firmino. Maybe, possibly, if you wanted a more center attacking mid player. Lucas has got the pace. Firmino doesn't have the pace, but he's got better all around stats in some areas. Or maybe a guy like Young Min Sun. This, this Young Min Sun is already up a lot already in price. I think he's like 450, 460,000 coins at the moment. Even higher right now. Wow, Sun is almost 500k. Crazy. This guy's just going to keep rising as people upgrade their teams and buy their players for weekend league. A lot of these cards are just going to keep rise, rising. But the real trick is to find those players that people are going to pack cards this week and you know finish out their squads with. I think a guy like Usman Dembele is a good shout. Ben Yedder is an interesting one because he's out of packs. So he's not going to get packed. Uh, but he is a player that I have seen in so many concept squads that it is ridiculous. How much does Ben Yedder go for now? 60,000 coins out of packs. The 83 rated card of Ben Yedder. So many people want that card in their team. That's getting to a point where it's getting kind of close. It's it's over halfway to the ones to watch card. I think it's Ben Ben Yedder OTW is around 110,000 coins. So if you see this Ben Yedder OTW card Thursday getting packed with rewards, that might be a little bit of an investment opportunity right there as well. If he gets down to closer to 100,000 coins or below, that could be a great investment for you, either for the team um, if you were looking to buy Ben Yedder's gold card and you have a lot of coins, maybe buy the ones to watch. Or if you're just looking at an investment buy uh, for a flip heading into the weekend with at least ones to watch as having games and stuff, and that is a, a good card to flip there as well. But that's the idea of Thursday flipping. You look at the team of the week, you look at what meta cards are being used in FIFA, um, and you can look at this by looking at, like, if you look on Twitter, you will see a lot of squads. Maybe somebody has posted a tweet. Hey, guys, show me your squads. Look at the replies to that tweet and look at all the players that are on though that tweet, on those squads that people tweet out. That's one way to find popular players. Another way to find popular players is using the PGP, PGP tab on Footbin. Right here, drop down PGP. I'm going to sort this to gold rare. I'm going to sort this to games played right here. And I'm going to also sort it by PS4 since I'm on the PlayStation 4. And Dombele. Wow, look at this. And Dombele, Lucas Hernandez, Rashford, Pepe, Usman Dembele are atop the charts right now. Where's Ben Yedder? Ben Yedder, 82,000 games played as well. But And Dombele, number one, 155,000 games played. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy to me. So you think about this. How are people getting some of these cards in their teams? How are people linking a Rashford? Are people linking a Rashford to Pepe? Or how are people linking these these French front three? Are they going Martial left wing, Dembele on the right wing, with Wissam Ben Yedder in the middle? How are they doing a lot of this stuff? So you can use these graphs right here to figure out, hey, a lot of people are using these cards. Look at Lozano, Irving Lozano. 62,000 games played, the top 20, 25 player on FIFA Ultimate Team. And there's a lot of Serie A guys that are coming out into the game this week. That makes Lozano's ones to watch for me possibly a good rewards flip buy. And I'm saying the ones to watch because uh, that's only like 42, 43K right now, That's which is pretty cheap for his ones to watch card for what it has been. Uh, yes, he could get packed from rewards. He could get a little bit of hit there. But if you're getting a right winger in the Serie A, this is probably the guy you're going to go with. I mean, he's uh, he's three-star, four-star. So he's got the three-star weak foot, which is a little bit less than ideal, but he's got good stamina. He's going to feel good on the ball. He's pacey. And there are some hyped-up Serie A players this week that could be in Team of the Week number three. So that's a situation you're going to have to watch this week um, with that card. But again, use Footbin. There's so many tools on Footbin here to see, is this a good investment based on where this card's price is at? Wijnaldum, to me, looks fine. phenomenal. You have the Trent Alexander-Arnold right back in form. You have plenty of other guys that people want to use in their team. This is a great box-to-box -box midfielder with the four-star skills, the three-star weak foot. He's got great high, high attacking work rates. He's got great stamina, 93. This is a card that I think could boom this week uh, because of the great links. He's Dutch as well, so if you're running maybe as some sort of hybrid with Prem and Eredivisie maybe with some informs like Inform Malin or a De Young as well, this could be a great, great card, in my opinion, to pick up as well, especially on a lower budget. This is actually a card that I'm probably going to look at picking up as well. Um, 
So basically for this Thursday flipping stuff, there's so many things that you can think about. And this is where the people that are really good at Thursday flipping will make their mark and you will be able to tell who's really good at Thursday flipping is you'll be able to see what cards go up, you know, people that find the correct link investments and stuff like that. You'll really be able to tell how skilled they are at Thursday flipping based on how much they make each week and what cards they choose to pick. Link investments to the team of the week, meta popular players that will go up, stuff like that. So I had a lot of success doing it last year um, and it's just basically based around people building teams. Now again, I wanna make a one little mention about the buy time. If you've made it to this point in the video, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I freaking love you dudes, to be honest. Um, so many, so much support on these videos, all the comments, the likes, just you guys subscribing to the channel. I, ha I gotta take a second and just thank you and say I love you guys for that. Freaking phenomenal. You guys are the best. Um, but this day on Wednesday as well, we could see some possible market movements with the Champions League content that could be coming out today. We, we got an SBC today. EA has told us that there is more news about the um there's more news about these rare the, the ucl rare cards that is coming soon so there's some people that are thinking we might see some stuff today if we do see the ucl rare supply today on wednesday i told a few of you guys in the stream later uh earlier today that links in the live stream if you want to ch check me out on twitch i stream there multiple times weekly um i told a lot of people to say to you know to say like i said you know maybe wait a little bit Wait until what we see for content-wise on Wednesday in terms of Champions League games, in terms of what we could see released on the market before we go out and make moves earlier in the day. Wait and see what happens with that and then look to make your moves because if nothing happens, then we can carry on as always. But you don't want to buy too early. Have some content released and then we have a bunch of panic on the market and you bought before the panic and then stuff's going lower so just wait and see what happens tomorrow with the champions league content and the champions league stuff but other than that start to make yourself a little bit of a list look at your coin balance i have fifty-two thousand coins right now i would probably like to sell a few of these guys to maybe get a few more coins probably sell my papu gomez tomorrow morning just in case he doesn't get in team of the week we'll see i have a timo Werner that i have basically bought for a weekend league flip at 45k i think that card if nabry gets an inform could go up a lot and i think it should rise regardless so i have that card as an investment as well but i'm probably going to sell a few cards to maybe get back up to 100 150k range so that i can make some investments so maybe i'm looking if you're a guy that's like 100,000 coins to 500k probably look in the card range of somewhere around 20 to 50k because that way you can get a couple cards, you can stack them up like that Wijnaldum, like the Lozano, maybe a guy uh, like a cheaper option, like a secondary option for a starter team, Willian. I think he's like, what, 15K right now? Okay, he's a little bit less than that. 13,000 coins for Willian. Watch a card like this tomorrow. He's gonna get packed a bit, but he's still very usable. Still a very popular card in this game. That could be a good card to flip Thursday night into Friday. And then if you're on a higher budget, you know, you have a million coins, you have 1.5 million, you maybe even have more than 500K, you can look into some informs uh, over here in Footbin. Look at some Team of the Week 2 informs. If you're somebody who's got a lot of coins, maybe look at somebody like this KDB. I think Tiago Silva is still pretty cheap as a, I mean, 89 defense. His card stats don't look amazing, but for this game, he's got incredible stats. The man's got, what, 90 standing tackle. That's going to be an insane stat for his card in game. He's probably going to play pretty well, I would imagine. 89 defense is the big stat on his card. And he's got good work rates as well. I think that card's still pretty cheap. Maybe Alexander Arlett, 100K. And, you know, maybe some of those more meta, popular golds. A guy like Fabinho. A guy like um, maybe a Conte if you have a lot of coins. So this is the kind of guy you might find to be a better investment if you're on that higher budget um, because you can make use of more of your coins. A lot of people are gonna want this Fabinho card, that's for sure. He's probably a top three, top two or three CDM in the Prem, if not more a top two card, especially with the hype last year, Liverpool hype, they're playing very well, very well, he's Brazilian. So that's a good card if you're on a higher budget, look for somebody like that. That's a card that a lot of people are gonna be upgrading to as well. Somebody might not have Fabinho on their team just yet, 
but they're going to be upgrading from maybe somebody like um, that Gabamon card or maybe like a 20,000 coin range CDM and upgrading to this Fabinho card. That's what you're going to see a lot of in this time period of FIFA. People upgrading from like the starter squads into the more advanced squads as they play the game, open packs, get rewards, and everything like that. So that's what I would say for this week. Look at the metas. Look at links to Team of the Week. Maybe look at some ones to watch cards heading into the weekend. And of course, use your tools on Footbin, use your knowledge on the market, and even use Twitter posts, like I mentioned. Look at popular players to see what you could flip this weekend. Again, buy time Thursday after 6 p.m. UK. Look and see if we have any panic. If we don't, we'll wait a little bit later into the evening, see if you can get some buys, see if any prices dip before rewards, and then sell basically 24, 24 hours after then. So you're looking like late evening or night Thursday or early Friday or maybe even later Friday um, with your flips because that's when people are going to be into the weekend league, finish up buying their teams and playing the game. If you, enjoy, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. There's going to be tons of videos. Basically every Wednesday you're going to see a video like this looking at the Thursday flips for the week, looking at the team of the week predictions, looking at different market movements we could have in the game, looking at all kinds of stuff for uh, Thursday flipping because it is a massive phenomenon in FIFA 19. It's going to be a massive phenomenon in FIFA 20 because Weekend League is here. People need the rewards. People want the rewards, and especially early in the game when you're trying to uh, you know, increase your FIFA wealth and make coins. And this is a great way to trade and make some coins off the market that rises every week in this time period. Again, if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. And I'll catch you guys in the video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Peace out.